We're gonna start with the warm up. Okay, so we're gonna start with jumping jacks, and everybody knows jumping jacks. Modifications for people who need modifications. You can step to the side. So those of you who were here last week, you already know we're doing these as modifications. Right with jumping jacks. Let's get started. Make sure you're breathing. Keep breathing, keep doing jumping jacks. And from here, we're going to go to high knees, which are, once again, modification. You can step your knees up. Everybody else who doesn't need modifications, let's get these knees up. Making sure you're breathing. You don't have to do these fast. You can pace yourself. Now we're going back to jumping jacks. Making sure you're breathing. This is meant to get your blood flowing. Back to high knees. If you need to take a second to breathe, do that and jump right back in. Last set of jumping jacks. For those of you who came on late, modifications for jumping jacks. Stepping out. Keep doing your regular jumping jacks. And last set of high knees. Modifications, stepping up. questions after the warm-up to give people more time to come in. Now from here, we're just going to dip up, dip up. Like I said, this is hip, hip, hip addition, flexology. So we're focusing on hips today. So you're just dipping and coming up, dipping and coming up. A little dip. Good. Come back to center, which is neutral. Rolling out the chest because it just feels nice to roll out the whole body. I don't care what direction you start with, just as long as you do both sides. And we're going to reverse, going back the other way. Good. Coming back to the center, let's roll out the neck. I don't know about you, but I slept really wrong trying to preserve these curls, so my neck feels a little stuff. Slow rolling, breathing, relaxing. Reverse it to the opposite direction that you started in. Good, make sure you're breathing. And then we're gonna bring the head back to center, nodding yes and no. Well, just go forwards and back. Sorry. <laughs> back and forwards. Good. And then we're going to bring the head back to center. And we're going to roll the shoulders back. Rolling them back. Little circles. And like I said, this is flexology hip edition. But we still have to warm up the body and get it warm. Now we're going to roll the shoulders forwards. Excuse me, shoulders. Good. And then from here, we're gonna roll down the hips, all the way down to the floor. And then we're gonna reverse it, coming back up. And coming back down. 
everybody who's hearted, I hope you're having your finger on it and still rolling down. Ooh, I'm getting warm. Roll down. Last one, and when you come down, you're going to stay here. And we're not going to do anything but just sit in this low spot, making sure your knee does not go over your toe. Butt low, chest high, hands can rest here, but we're not focusing on that. We just want to sit here. Then we're going to come up. Then we're going to go back down. And we go down, we take our elbows and just slightly put it in the inside of our thigh. Still with the butt low, still head up, still chest up. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. And sitting here. Good. Then I'm going to put my hands down on the floor. I'm going to stand up. I'll turn to the side. And we're going to drop. For those of you here last week, this is what we did. Coming down, coming up. Coming down, coming up. Coming down, coming up. Coming down, coming up. And on the last one, same thing. We're going to sit here. Elbows placed gently in the inner thigh. Chest comes up. Butt low. Head is up. Relaxing. Good, breathe. And we're coming up slow. Good, I'm gonna turn back forward. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. And we're just gonna rock side to side. Just sending each hip to each direction. Not dropping yet for those who are dropping. We're just rocking the hips. So once again, warming everything up. And now in five, four, three, Two, and we're gonna to come to one side. Making sure the knee is not over the foot. Drop into the opposite side. So whatever side you start with, does not matter. As long as you go to the opposite side. And I'm just rocking back and forth in each hip. And after this, I promise, I'll let y'all get water. And then we'll start. Five, good. Four, three, two, and one, come back to center. Good job, get some water. If everybody can hear me, drop my little emoji. My juice dropping so I can make sure everybody can hear me. We had a good warm up, now we're about to start with the stretch. Hi everybody. Get some water. Oh shit, I'm hot. All right. We are gonna start standing. Okay, so feet are still shoulder length apart. So you don't have to open your legs really wide. Just shoulder length apart. And from here, like we did last week, for those of you who were here last week, anytime I bend over, let me test the side, I'm always hinging at the waist. Always hinging at the waist, never going straight down. So, same thing. I'm coming down, hinging at my waist. And then I'm just gonna drop my hands, or wherever my hands stop at, whether that's up here, fingertips, hands, that is okay. And you're just gonna hang here for a minute. Breathe. And as you hang here, just rock your butt side to side. I'll turn to the side for you. I'm here. I'm just shooting my butt side to side. Loosening up those hips. And then turn back. Good. And from here, we're going to come back up. So what I'm going to do now is turn to the side. So I was here, I'm gonna shift my hips and pelvis forward, feet forward. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hinge at the waist. And wherever I stop at is where I stop it. So if it's right here, you're gonna take your hands, because nothing wrong putting your hands on the top of your thigh. Not the knee, on the thigh. If you can go past that, hands tippy toe here. My hands flat on the floor. So I was here, I turn sideways slightly, Hinge at the waist, hands come down. I'm breathing in as I touch down, whether that's on my thigh, whether that's here. You can have a slight bend in the knee, I'm fine with that. So I'm here, holding. Now what I'm gonna do is flex my foot up. So my foot was flat, 
Flexing it up. Stay in the same position. Only thing that moved was your foot. You should feel that pull at the back of your hamstring. Good. Pull that. Breathing in and out. Wherever you are. So if you're on your knee, you can have one hand down, one hand on your thighs. Hold the balance. Good. I'm going to put that foot down. I'm going to bend. I'm going to come up. And I'm going to come back to center. Bypass center. Turn the opposite way. Same thing. Hinging. This foot can be pointing towards the camera, coming down, whether that's right here on the thigh, with that's fingertips, or whether that's flat. I'm going to come down. Breathing. And then I'm going to flex my foot upward. My foot was flat, it's flat. So your hair, it should look like this. Hippy toe should look like this. Flat hand should look like this. You should feel that pull in your hamstring. Good. I'm going to put the foot down. I'm going to bend the knee slightly. Come up, turn back to center. And now what I'm gonna do is come back to that spot that we started in the beginning. Take my elbows, put them on my inner thigh. If that's it, that's fine. Taking my hands, wrapping around my ankle. Ooh, and I'm sitting now lower in my butt. You'll definitely feel that in your hips, chest up, head up. Breathe, sit low, relax. The more you breathe, the more you can relax and the more you sink deeper into it. Breathe. Good job. Five, four, breathe, two, and one. Good job. So now, we're going to come down to her pancake. Now, some of the stuff we did last week to touch on, because it was hips, some of the stuff we have been done. So keep warming up the legs before I take you into um, lunge. We're going to sit here and we're going to pick up the legs up and down. So however wide your pancake is, that is fine. We're just moving our legs up and down. Up and down, up and down. Good. Then I'm gonna move my feet forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. Back to up and down. Good. So now, we're going straight right into it. No exercise right here. Hands could be in the front. One hand in the front, one in the back. We're gonna warm these legs. Five on each side. However high you can get your leg is however high you can get your leg. If you have to have one hand in the front and one hand in the back, that is perfectly fine. If you are about that life and you were here last week, I believe in you. So we're going to start with whatever leg you want. Five leg lifts. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Rest for a second. Next leg. One, two, three four, five. Good job. Back to the opposite side. Do not beat yourself up if your legs are not coming as high as mine. If your leg comes up off the floor, that is an accomplishment. That's an achievement. And you should be happy, because I am, that you are participating. Two, three, four, five. Good job. Good job. I'm going to flex out the foot. Good. Same thing, I'm gonna bring my arms up. We're gonna come forward. Same thing as you were standing. I'm leaning forward with my pelvis first. And I'm gonna bring my hands on the floor. It's not about getting low right now. And I'm gonna move to whatever side you feel comfortable with. And I'm just gonna reach my hands on each side, head down. Good job. Now, while I'm here, I'm gonna slide this foot. However, if you have to slide it back in front of you, that's fine. I'm going to lift that foot up. So the further away this leg is away from your body, which means knee up. You're going to feel that all in here. So I was here. I am here. If you have to bring that leg in front of you and pick it up, that's fine. You have to make sure you get it open. And we're staying here. Five, four, three. Squeeze in that glue to hold that leg. Slide down. Taking this hand, walking, staying however high you are, or low, going to the opposite side. Hands on the opposite side, breathing in, exhaling over the leg. I'm going to slide this foot up. Same thing as we did to the other side. Squeezing the glute to keep this leg open. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Drop that leg, come back to the center. Good job. So now, I'm gonna touch the side for you guys. What I'm gonna do is, whatever leg you wanna start with, I'm gonna bring this leg up to my knee. So what I'm doing is sitting up, knee to chest. I'm gonna take this hand, grab your toe, grab the inside or the top of your foot, and all I'm doing is bringing the leg out and back, out and back. We did this last week for those of you who joined me. So all I'm doing is just sending this leg back behind the shoulder. And if your leg doesn't go behind your shoulder, if your hips are really tight, which I can't imagine them being tight in mine, that's a joke. Keep at it. Just make sure you're breathing and do not do anything past the point that you can do it. Two more. Good. Now I'm going to switch to the opposite side. I'm just going to rotate from the grass. Same thing, knee comes up to the chest. My hand comes out, grabbing the over the toe, grabbing around the toe, around the back of the foot, and I'm just shooting the leg back. This other hand is behind me, keeping me up, my back is straight. I'm breathing as I send this leg to my thighs, to my back. Good job. Breathe. Two more. One more. Good job. Now I'm going to lay down. We're going to stay here for a second. <laughs> then we're going to pick our legs up, bringing our knees to our chest and bringing our feet up. So all I did was lay down, pick my knees up, bring it to my chest, lift my feet. And you're going to open your legs. I'm going to take my hands. You can see me? Okay, you can see me. Um, Facebook. I'm gonna come here, take my hand. Bring it in the inside of my foot. So the hair, inside. Same thing that we just did. And we're just moving it up and down. Opening these hips, especially from sitting down, watching TV, watching all these good YouTube live streams and stuff. I get it. Breathing, not forcing anything. Breathe. Good job. A few more. Good. Two and one. And I'm going to bring my feet together. And as I bring my feet together, my hands are going to wrap around my feet. And I'm going to squeeze my glutes, try to force these hips outward. Squeezing my glute. However much your legs open is however much it is. It's about knowing form, about which muscles are being engaged to actually push these things out. And we're holding five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. I'm gonna sit up. And whatever leg you wanna start with, I'm gonna come a little bit closer so you can see me. Get us a water really quickly. Really quickly. I'm going to go to a low lunge. Then I'm going to start on this side. My foot is going to come here. Knee is not going over this foot, okay? My back leg is on the knee. Are we standing? No, the knee dropped. And we're just sitting here. So, if you have to get a block or you need to use your water jug, you can bring your blocks, your water jug to you, put your knee, put your block, and sit up. And this back leg is straight in alignment with my hip. And I'm sitting up, letting that hip sink on the opposite side, which is right here. This is the leg I'm talking about. So if you need the blocks to hold yourself up, that's fine. Other than that, relax. And let the hips sink. Hi, this is my cat, everybody. Shout out. He's needy and doesn't listen. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take the same leg that is up right now. Come on, come on. I'm going to bring my leg, my arm up. I'm going to bring that arm on the inside. I'm not coming down to my elbow yet. 
I'm just sitting here and relaxing. Shadow. Good. Now, if this is all you have, you can definitely take a block and brush your elbow. If that's too much, so you could just stay where you're at. But if you can come down a little bit more, you could definitely put the block down and come on your forearm on it. If you can go down lower, we're coming down to our forearm. So once again, this is fine. Coming down to the block is fine. Coming all the way down without a block is fine. Make sure your back is not arched, your back is straight, and we're coming down. Just letting that back hip sink. You should definitely feel it. I do. And what we're going to do is tippy toe the front foot. Yes. Tippy toe the front foot. Good. Good. Now, same arm, same side. I'm going to sit back just slightly where my arm can go through. That's it. And I have to now sink back. Breathing. Good. I'm going to slide that arm back through. I'm going to come back up. You might want to get a block for this part. You don't have to, but you can. So now I'm going to come closer just so y'all can see what I'm doing. My leg is going to come up, right? Now, you see my ankle? I'm just going to let my hip sink to the side. So you see how my foot came up off the floor? So it's to the front. So my foot's flat, opened. So we're here and lunge, knees not over the foot. I just let my hip go open, okay? So we're here, we're letting our hip go open. That is all you have, that is all you have. If you want extra, take this hand. You're gonna put it on the inner thigh, not the knee, on the inner thigh. And just slightly press out. If you want that additional stretch, if you're not used to stretching, I would not recommend you doing it. If you are used to stretching and you need that deeper stretch, I would recommend you too, but slightly, slightly, and you should feel that right here. And we're holding. And everybody else who's not pressing, you're holding. Good. Five, four, three, two. Come back to center. And I'm going to shoot back. Hands come on the outside. The leg is going to come directly, line of center. I'm going to flex and point. Flex and point the toe. All you gotta do is Good job, everybody. We're about to switch sides. I'm going to bring that leg back. I'm going to bring the opposite leg forward. So whatever leg you started with, opposite leg is going to shoot forward now. Same thing. Back leg is going to be in alignment. If you need a block, bring them to the side. We're going to sit up. Foot is not over the knee. And we're going to sink that hip. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If that's a lot, you're going to take your block, put a little pressure in the block so that sink won't feel so, ah, but it shouldn't be painful. Shouldn't be painful, no bouncing, just breathing. Hips. Hips. <laughs> We're going to bring that same leg, same arm inside. And if this is all you have, then that's all you have. If you can come down to your block, Come down to your block. If you don't need your block, come down on the inside. Good job, everybody. You should be proud of yourself that you're even here. Good job. So now that we're here, I'm going to stay here for a few more minutes, and then we're going to do what we did on the opposite side. I'm going to turn that hip. So everybody else, stay where you're at. I'm going to come out of it. I'm going to come back forward so you can see me drop the hip on this side or open it. So I'm here, I'm gonna come up to our hands. And all I'm doing is shifting the weight. Open. So I was here, I open. Now, you can stay here if you want, and just let that hip, hip excuse me, sink open. But if you need an extra stretch, if you're used to doing stretches or you need a deeper stretch, take this hand and I'm gonna put it on the inside of the thigh or 
the knee, hip, over the knee and the thigh. Yeah. And I'm just gonna push out just a little bit, just slightly breathing. Good job, breathing. I'm gonna take my hand from the inside, bring it back to the center. Now I'm going to bring my hand on the opposite side. I'm gonna shoot the bag. And then I'm gonna bring this leg in the center. Center, straight down. In terms of the side. And we're gonna flex. And we're gonna point. Flex and point, guys. All you gotta do is look. Good job. Flex and point. Good. And we're gonna shoot this leg back. And now we're going to sit in child's pose for a few seconds. Breathing. I'm going to get some water. You can take the time to get a little water. I would relax the hips a little bit. We're going to go back into lunge. So now I'm coming back up. Whatever leg you started with is the same leg you start with again. I'm going to bring this leg up. I'm going to slide our back foot a little bit, just a little bit further than you were before. Now, I will get a block because what we're going to do is we're going to play the inch game. I'll let you call it. And I'm going to come a little bit forward just so you guys can see me. So now, I'm back in my lunge, right? Block just in case. So now, the knee is not over the foot. I'm going to come down on my forearms. What I'm going to do? Inch my foot forward and relax. So if that's here, you inch your foot forward and you're just relaxing. You see how my hip kind of opened up on its own? So wherever you're at, if you're down here, that's fine. I'm going to just going to hold this. Then we're going to inch our foot forward again. Good. Holding, same thing, inching the foot forward. Now, now, starting to feel that here. Now we're going to sit up. So now, you can feel that deep stretch right into the back. So this is why I said you should get your block, you should get your water block, I mean your water jug or block. And just sit here. Good. Five, four. Three, don't fight it. Two, <laughs> one, hand comes on the inside. I'm gonna sit back a little bit, bringing that foot back. Good job, everybody. Now we're gonna send the opposite leg out. So whatever leg you started with, that leg is gonna go back. You're gonna find your comfy spot. I'm gonna get in alignment, straighten that back leg. Knee doesn't come over the front foot. And I'm gonna come down out of right here on my Block on my forearm. Let me turn to the other side so you can see it on this side. So we're here. Now we're gonna inch our foot forward just a little bit. Two, three, and we're gonna stay here. So once again, if you're up here, that's up here. But that foot should still be moving. If you're on your block, you're on your block. If you're not, that foot should still be moving down to my forearm. Hold it in a few seconds. We're gonna inch it forward again. Three times or two. Now, from here, you're gonna take your block. Ooh, that is not alignment. Sorry. See, I wasn't in alignment. Mm, that's bad. I'm gonna sit up, letting that back hip sink. Good job. Five, four, three. Two and one. Sit back a little bit, sliding that foot back. Oop. And we're going to sit down in child's pose. Breathing, and I'm going to time check really quickly. Oh, we're doing good. Get some water really quickly.
Okay. So now, when we come back and we're gonna sit on our butts. So now, it doesn't really matter how your leg sits. So if you want like one leg to be straight out, you got one leg straight out. If you want one leg to be bent. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring whatever leg you wanna start with, knee to chest. Hand comes behind the knee. I'm gonna go up and down. Just for a few seconds. And then from here, the same leg. Yes, same arm, same leg. I'm gonna wrap it with the opposite. It's gonna come on the foot. I'm just gonna straighten my foot a little bit. The same can let go. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna open my leg just a little bit. You can flex and point the toe. And I'm gonna bend. Straighten, bend. Same thing as we did before, but instead, your leg is straight and you're sending it back. Instead of already leaning back, my leg is extended outward. So come around and out. So. so now, bringing that leg down. What I'm gonna do is now, same thing I just did. Knee comes to the chest, this foot is gonna grab from the bottom of the foot. I'm gonna turn my knee towards the wall or wherever. So you see how my knee was in front of my face? Now it's outward. What I'm gonna do is hug my foot. So if you only can hug your foot like this, that's fine. That is fine. This is for the purpose of open these hips. Hug your foot. So if this is more comfortable with the leg straight out, that's fine. I'll turn to the side so you can see what it looks like. All I do is bring my knee to my chest, turn the knee out, spread it over, hung in my foot. So we haven't really did like straps, thread throughs, taking up the legs. Trust me, you will get all of this. Because by the time we do it, you'll be like, oh shit. I didn't even know how to do that. Mm -hmm. That's because I've been prepping you. And we're gonna drop this leg. I'm gonna turn to the other side so you can see this side. Wait, what did we do? Pick up the leg, knee to chest, arms coming around, pick the knee. Pick it up back and straight. So if you need a wall, you can get a wall from the back of the chair. That's fine too. Two more. Good job. And then I'm going to straighten the leg, open it to the side. Terrible. See this hip? This hand? Straighten. Not too straight because, like I said, I have hyperextension. You can have a slight micro bend. And we're going to bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend, straighten. Two more. One more. Now I'm gonna bring the knee back up to my face, open it, and I'm gonna hug. Opening this hip, breathing, not forcing it. So if you can only do this, that's fine. If this is all you have, that's fine. Give me more seconds, make sure you're breathing. Good, release the foot. Shake out the leg a little bit. Now we're gonna turn back over. You're gonna turn over whatever leg you wanna start with. You're gonna send this leg forward. Not a lunge. I'm gonna open and come down to a pigeon. Now this is why I said you need a pillow or you need a block. Turn to the front. Now, true pigeon, a 90. Hips squared and up like this, but for the most part, that's my life. Some people have a bend. That's you, that is perfectly fine. If you're not perfectly squared, you take the block or you take a pillow and sit it right under your booty. So now everything is in alignment. And I'm one of those people. So now we're here with our pigeon. Back leg is in alignment. Arms are gonna come up. Same thing. I'm going to come forward. You are definitely going to feel this. Arms come over. So if you're up here, you're up here. That's fine. But you still will have the same stretch. 
Make sure you're breathing. Breathing is very important. Helps you relax. Helps you sink into poses. Help blood flow. Breathe. Good. And I'm going to come up. Now I'm going to let this leg in the front totally bend. Because now this is the purpose, and I'm going to turn to this side so you can see it. We're still in pigeon, but you don't have to really focus on the 90. You can let this leg bend. This back leg is still. I'm going to bend this back leg, right? I'm going to turn forward. And what I'm going to do is squeeze from the glute and pick this leg up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So if you need blocks or you need balance, you can do that one block on whatever side, but I'm still over my hip. This leg is in alignment with this hip. I'm squeezing. So however high your leg comes up, it's however high. And dropping, good job. Now, we're going to the opposite side, and I know I've been turning around just so you can see all my angles. Now we're going to the opposite side with the pigeon. Coming down. Making sure our leg is at a 90. If you're not at a 90, it's fine. And last week, I hurt my ankle. And I never really realized until, and I don't realize until I hurt myself how important the body part is. And the ankle is very important because I could not do a pigeon on this side. So this could be terrible too. So now I'm here. Leg comes out. If you need a block, a pillow. We're going to sit under the opposite hip. Making sure that back leg is aligned. Y'all seeing all my flaws right now, but it's fine. It's my hips. Arms come up. I'm gonna hinge at the pelvis. I'm gonna come over. So once again, don't think if your legs are not perfectly straight. If you have to put a block or a pillow under your butt, or if you're not perfectly flat, that you're not getting the same stretch because you are. I don't want you to think that because your alignment and everything is not perfect or your leg isn't straight that you're not getting the same stretch. You are, because I might be good with splits, but I have to work for my middle splits. But even though I have middle splits, my hips are still a little trash. All right, breathe. I'm gonna come up and we're gonna bring that back leg at a 90, align it with the hips, and I'm gonna squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. And definitely strong glute muscles are definitely great for back bends. The ass is a great muscle. It works for a lot of things. So we're squeezing and lifting, squeezing and lifting, squeezing and lifting. So if your leg happens to come up, just work and send it back. If this feels awkward, if you feel too leaked over, like I said, this is all a work in progress. Some things we have never done before. Good, and we're going to drop that leg. Now, we're going to come forward. We're going to stack the legs. So, not a perfect stack. One leg is same thing, 90. Next leg is going to come over. Now, same thing. If you need to have something in here because your hip is so high, like mine's were and used to be, you can put the block right here. You can put the pillow right here. So, leg is in a 90. This foot comes on this knee, or even if it's down here, I'm fine with that. Block comes right here to make up for that space that that knee is giving you. And I know some of you at home have, and that's fine, okay? And now we're gonna come up. Everything is up and over, hinging over. And we're gonna go over. Wherever your hands drop is where they drop. If you drop to your elbow, that's fine. Breathe. Yes, you're gonna feel pulling. Do not rush out of this position. If you cannot hold it, you are gonna breathe, sit back and release your legs. Do not rush out of this position. If you can hold it and breathe. Hold it and breathe because that is where you're going to find the magic at. That is where next week when you come back, these hips are not going to be high. So do not give up if you feel slight pain. You don't think I feel pain talking to you right now? I have to be in, I don't want to say pain, but it's stretch, a pull. I feel all of it, but I have to still talk and give you a direction. So don't think that because I might be able to do something and it looks effortless to you, that it's effortless because it, I feel everything. Okay, my hips are terrible. That's why we have hip addition this week. <laughs> Good, and we're gonna bring our hands back. Good job, everybody. We're gonna undo our legs, and we're gonna switch sides. 
because we have to make sure we're even. Same thing, if you need a block for that space, block. And this is the knee, the ankle that I kind of hurt last week, so it's still kind of sore. Arms come over, good job. And we're holding and breathing. If it's for a few seconds that you can hold this, then that's fine. You hold it for a few seconds, and then you're gonna unwrap and relax. You're not gonna fall out of it. You're not gonna push. If you have to yell, scream, bite, do that. I did. I had my daughter stand on my hips. That's dedication, okay? Breathe in a few more minutes. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna come up and out. Let's shake out the legs really quickly. Get water line, sound check really quickly. Great. Okay, so now we still have a few more minutes, especially Instagram because they will cut you off first. We're gonna sit back here on our back. We're gonna bring up our legs and we're just going to open and let gravity do what it does. You wanna hold this for a minute. You can flex, you can point. And if you have to lean on a wall, you can definitely put your butt against a wall and do so. But just let your legs open. Hold this for a minute and we're breathing. Five, four, ooh, three, two, I'm gonna bring my legs together. Bring them to one side. Now, we're gonna hold the frog for a minute. So what a frog looks like is, I'm gonna open my knees, hip height, turn to the side. And I'm gonna open my foot outward. Foot's not on the back, the foot's on the side. I'm gonna slide my hips open and my feet is out. And I know you think this is it. No. When we come here, you're gonna sit the butt back. That is where the engagement happens. And then we're gonna come down on our forearms. And then if you're here, you can also twerk ass. And I know you're like, A, yes, A, always a twerk. But this actually loosens up the muscles so you can actually drop a little lower. Feet turned out, hips down. You're gonna sit the butt back from neutral to back to engage. And we're gonna hold this. You're gonna hold it. Now, if you have to have something under your knees, I would recommend you to have something under your knees. This hurts as hell. You don't want black knees, but if you have to have them, fuck it. Breathing, twerking, relaxing. Breathing, twerking, relaxing. Sitting back, sitting back, relaxing, breathing, turkey, and relaxing. That is the phrase, breathing, turkey, relaxing. Yes. A few more seconds. 10, nine, don't move. Eight, seven, six, breathe, five, Four, three, two, and how you come out? We're going forward. Good job. Sit back, child's pose for one minute, and we're going right back in to frog. Good. See, we spent one minute on opening our legs, one minute on frog. Good. Now we're going to come out of child's pose. Coming right back to frog. Knees come out, foot opens up from the side, we're sliding our legs open, and we're sitting our butt back. The goal is to sink a little lower than you were the last time we were here, which was less than a minute ago, but it's still the same thing. Sitting my butt back, hips come open, twerking, breathing, relaxing. Twerking, breathing, relaxing. Twerking. Breathing and relaxing. Five, four, three, two, and come out. So now, I know you're like,
like, wait, we didn't do splits. No, we didn't. We warmed up hips. But what you can do, and like I said, when we do another um, hip addition, which will be splits addition, and we'll focus solely on splits, I will put y'all right into it. But what we're going to do right now to test how low you're going to go, you don't have to. This is optional. <laughs> you're going to open your legs a little bit further than shoulder width apart. Now you can take your blocks to hold you, to stop you, and what you're going to do is open your legs and put your hands through. Now your blocks to stop you is what I meant as your shoulders, and you stop here, but that might not even help. So your legs are open, you're going to put your hands between your legs, and you're going to rest your face on the floor. And you are going to sit your butt back and hold it here. And what's gonna happen is your hands are gonna stop you from moving in your butt. You see how I'm sinking low? Now, you don't have to try this. You don't have to try that. So once again, hands come up, yes. Open legs, hands go in the middle. Face comes on the floor. And if this is all you got, turn your hands over so that you won't go anymore. But still have a little bit of resistance. But if you are daring, hand goes in the middle, sit your butt back. Open. Relax. Relax. and breathe. Shake out the legs, everybody. So, I'm gonna to talk to you about the details of the flexology giveaway as I cool you down. Good, shake out the legs. You bring one leg up. No, we're not doing that. I'm gonna lay down. Leg comes up and over. We're gonna sit here. So as I talk to you, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so I'm having a flexology giveaway. Basically, what that is, is people who participated and have been participating and future participants in the stress challenge, well, not even the stress challenge, in just this virtual class during this time, basically what I want to do, stay in this position, I'm going to get up. I'm giving away one of my shirts. Well, not one, three of them. Juiced. So basically, y'all all been juiced because y'all been taking my stretch class. So I'm going to relax this leg, bring it back to the center, pick up this leg. Drop to this side. So basically, how you can participate is basically what's gonna happen is, we did lunges, right? We did pancakes, we've done um, pigeons, we did a few poses. So you can, I'll even put it on description what poses you can use. What I need for y'all to do, bring this hip back, and we're gonna bring both the hips up, and then we're just gonna rock side to side. So as you rock, I'll talk. So what y'all can do is, I'll list a pose on a flyer. You're gonna take a picture of yourself in the pose this week, next week, the week after, until May, I think second, don't quote me, I'll definitely um, make sure the date is right, until the first Saturday in May. You're gonna take a picture of you in this pose every week. And once again, it's not determined on how flexible you are, it's determined on how much flexibility you've gained from taking these classes with me each week. And what you're gonna do is take a picture, let's say in uh, lunch. And on the first week you were here. And on the second week you were here. And on the third week you, you were here. That is progression. So that's what I mean. So all you're going to do is just take a picture week by week by week by week. And on the last week, you're going to send me all four pictures in a nice collage to see how far your flexibility has deepened. And what we're going to do is, from there, I'm going to pick three people. And I'm going to send you a juice shirt. Because you've been motherfucking juiced. And basically, I'm going to have the details in a separate flyer on my Facebook and on my Instagram and everything else. So as you roll out your legs, let's stand up, everybody. And we're going to roll out the neck. As I talk, roll out the neck. Once again, everybody, roll out your neck. I appreciate everybody who joined me. I appreciate everybody who's going to catch this playback. And once again, this class is totally free. But donations are definitely acceptable. Instagram, Facebook, 
It's in the description box. It's in a pin post. Roll your neck out, everybody. Roll the wrist. Roll your chest. And I'm going to thank everybody for stopping by. Like, share, comment on this video. If there's anything you want to know, ask me questions. Roll out your wrist, everybody. Roll out your shoulders and chest. DM me, free for, uh, excuse me, feel free to DM me, comment below, share this video, and we will be back here next Saturday at 5 p.m. Don't know what we'll be stretching, maybe arm balances, I don't know yet, but we'll be here, and I want to thank everybody for tuning in and joining in, and once again, like I said, I will have details on the giveaway, how you could participate, more people can participate. Thank you for joining me during the hip edition of Flexology. I love you guys. Kita, happy birthday, baby. Thank you for joining me, too, beautiful. And I appreciate everybody for joining me on Facebook and Instagram. Catch this playback. I will share the video on Instagram. The playback lasts 24 hours. Instagram, this shit is there forever, okay? So if you did not catch this live and you missed it, catch the playback. I should have been here earlier. If you didn't know that it was 5 o'clock Eastern time, sorry. I'll get better with that. But I want to thank everybody, especially on Instagram, because they're going to cut y'all off for coming. Hey, everybody. And I want to thank you. Share this video. I will be dropping my information for my Philexology giveaway for this Jew shirt. Yes. Merch. Merch. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Love you guys. See you guys next Saturday. Motherfucking Jews. All right. Bye, live. Okay, Facebook. Same thing. I'll be dropping flyers and everything else on my Facebook, on my Instagram, on my Snap, with the details. Oh, I usually go on live at five, Jody. Starts so at, I go I go on like 4.55, 4.57 if I'm not late. And I let it go for about um, 5.05. Before 5.10, we get started. We do a warm up and a cool down. First week was just um, regular flexology. This week was strictly for hips. So I have, um, flyers on my Instagram, on my Facebook, in the Snap Stories on Facebook and Instagram. So if you miss anything, everything will be on my page. Okay? So if you miss this playback, babe, you can place back, playback, excuse me, um, from last week. And you can play this one back from this week and you won't miss anything. Thank you, Crystal Milkshake. Brings little boys to the yard <laughs> for um, joining me, babes. And yes, I'll be dropping flyers so y'all can definitely participate in the stretch challenge. Well, I don't even want to call it stretch challenge. Participating in the class. Shirts gonna be given away. I cut this and tied it at the side so no, your shirts won't look like this. But if y'all trust me enough to hook your shirts up, I could do that. I'm gonna appreciate or I appreciate everybody for joining me this week. I will be dropping details of the giveaway, flexology giveaway. Don't quote me, but before the weekend's over, I don't want to say tonight. But thank you guys for um joining me. Like, share, and comment on this video. And like I said, this class is totally free, but donations are acceptable and welcome. But if you just want to share my videos and comment and tell me how much my class meant to you, you could definitely do that too. Thank you guys. Bye. See you next Saturday.